In today's gospel, we come to the heart of St. Luke's gospel, a gospel which strongly emphasizes mercy. Jesus tells three parables because tax collectors and sinners were drawing near to listen to him. The three he tells are the story of the good shepherd who leaves the 99 sheep behind to find the one lost one, the story of the woman who has 10 coins and loses one and sweeps the whole house to find it, and of course, the story of the prodigal son or the story of the merciful father, depending on how you want to look at it. All of these are stories of the great mercy and love of God. In the first one, we think about a good shepherd who leaves the 99 sheep to find the lost one. That one lost sheep is just as valuable as the other 99. It reminds us that sometimes we are lost, sometimes we have sinned and feel lost. But Jesus is out there looking for us to embrace us with his mercy. And when he finds us, he places us on his shoulders with great joy and brings us home rejoicing and has a great feast. And there's more rejoicing in heaven over one repentant sinner than over 99 righteous people. In the second story, we hear about a woman who sweeps her house to find her one lost coin, and then she throws a feast that costs her more than the value of that coin. Again, it tells you of the joy of God when he finds a repentant sinner, when he seeks us out and finds us and brings us home. But then there's the beautiful story of the prodigal son. There is a man who has two sons. His oldest son was going to inherit everything. That's normally what happened. The younger son took his little money and went away. What's surprising is that he squandered it on, on loose women and on other things rather than saving some for his elderly father. He thought with his heart that he could find joy somewhere else outside of his father's house, but he was sorely mistaken. He actually got up and went to his father's house, and there was his father looking for him, always on the lookout for him, hoping that he would return home. And the father rushed out to meet him, embraced him with compassion, kissed him, put the royal robe upon him, a ring on his finger, gave him his sandals back, and slaughtered the fattened calf for him. He gave him his sandals back so he would be free to stay or to go. He had not lost his royal dignity. He was still the son of the father despite his waywardness. It's important for us to also think about doing these great things and being obedient with great love, and to hear the father's words to the older son. My son, everything I have is yours. May we receive the gifts of the father, his mercy and his love, and everything will be ours in heaven.